Hi, this is Cool Cleveland correspondent Julie Kahigas. I'm here with Corey Rubin, a vocal performance and most importantly a composition student here at Cleveland State University to learn more about a concert that he's put together. Um, hi Corey. Hi Julie. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. All right, well tell us a little bit about this uh, unique concert that you've put together. Okay, well uh, we will be presenting one of J.S. Bach's greatest masterpieces. It's actually his final masterpiece, The Art of Fugue. A group of 40 or so musicians here at the music department in Cleveland State will be presenting the, fugue, the, uh, the piece in a very unique way. What's interesting about The Art of Fugue is that it was written without the composer specifying what instruments he intended. So nowadays you hear the piece performed by all manner of ensembles, from solo keyboard players to string ensembles to full orchestras and so on. So we had the idea to present each of the 14 sections of the piece with a different instrumentation. All right, that sounds great. And for those of us who don't know a lot about um, Bach or fugues, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect to hear at the concert? Of course. A fugue is a, type, is, a, is a type of composition that was very popular in Bach's time, and Bach was regarded as the master who perfected the form. Uh, it's basically a work of counterpoint in which some musical material is tossed between different voices, all of which are completely independent of one another. So uh, each voice presents the theme one at a time, and then as the entrances get piled on top of each other, the texture gets thicker and more intricate. All right. So um, we have some musicians here with us today. Hello, musicians. Um, Corey, do you want to give us the names of the musicians? Of course, and uh, sure. then I, I heard they're going to do a little playing for us. This is our double reed quartet. They will, on the concert, be playing Contrapunctus 9, which is one of my favorites. It's, it's a kind of fast and a little bit jazzy. But they're going to give us some examples of some of the other contrapunctus for right now. We have with us here Zach Randolph on the oboe, Jeff Kish playing English horn, Carolyn Hupalowski on the bassoon, and Dorian Neuendorf also on the bassoon. All right, fantastic. So first we'll hear the fugue theme. Sure. Uh, uh, notably, the Art of Fugue uses the same melody in each of the contrapunctus. In some place, some, some of the time it's quite evident. It's presented very straightforwardly. Some of the time it's hidden in the texture, and some of the time it's twisted or warped. Uh, why don't we have Jeff play us the beginning of Contrapunctus I, which is the theme presented by itself. It's a very simple theme, deceptively simple, and because of its simplicity, Bach is able to do some remarkable things with it, combining it with other themes, some of which are quite complex, uh, inverting it and uh, changing the rhythms in such a way that you might not always know it's there. All right. So we heard the theme presented by itself. This is the one we have all four of them play. This is the beginning of Contrapunctus I, the very first fugue in the set. I should say that on the concert, Contrapunctus I is going to be played by a very talented piano player named Javier Gonzalez. He's going to play it on the harpsichord. It'll be a lot of fun. All right. And so I know that um, in presenting the fugue that you mentioned that different textures and different manipulations of the theme occur. Um, there are several of the fugues that don't use the theme as you heard it at all. They use it in its inversion, meaning it's turned upside down. Everything that went up now goes down. Everything that went down goes up. Contrapunctus three is a good example of a fugue like that, and I believe that they will play for us the beginning of that one. All right. <laughs> Concert Contrapunctus III, which you just heard, is going to be played by a quartet of guitar players. Now, um, as you mentioned, there are 40 different performers uh, for this concert, and I think they're all students? 
Yes, I believe they are all at, students. At yeah. Cleveland State University. Um, do you want to tell us some of the different ensembles that will be playing? Yeah, it's really exciting. We've got an incredible diversity of, of instruments on this concert. In addition to keyboard performances on the piano, the harpsichord, and the organ, we've got quartets of strings, woodwinds, such as this ensemble, the brass, uh, four marimba players, the guitar quartet that I mentioned. We have an electronic arrangement, which is sort of an homage to Wendy Carlos, who in the 70s did a lot of uh, electronic arrangements of Bach. We've got a vocal quartet, which will be a little bit of an homage to the Swingle Singers, who of course uh, sang Bach in a jazzy style. Um, and we've got a couple of mixed ensembles, some small, some large. All right, well, if you could maybe tell us when the concert is and where to go, I think we'd all love to uh, come. Of course, it will take place Sunday, April 17th at 7 p.m. right here at Cleveland State University in this lovely hall, Drinko Recital Hall. The music building at Cleveland State is located at the corner of Euclid Avenue and East 21st Street, and admission will be free. All right, well, thank you so much for speaking with us today, Corey. My pleasure. And um, this is Julie Cahigas signing off for Cool Cleveland. Thank you.